guys welcome back to sisters talk tv my name is sin i am one half of sisters talk tv this is going to be a real housewives of atlanta season recap but before we get started please make sure you like this video also subscribe to our channel it really really helps us out so make sure that you are a subscriber and you know support us especially on our growth on youtube but let's go ahead and get on to this video so Real Housewives of Atlanta season finale was last night and there are some things I am I just was not really feeling while watching the season finale and I may have an unpopular opinion to most people especially on my thoughts on this but hear me out okay so the season finale was last night and the big party they had with Cynthia's kind of friends giving party where all of the ladies have to had to buy a gift um, that was up to a thousand dollars and you know they were doing a quick gift exchange okay so everyone was there except for Latoya. Latoya came at the end and you know she didn't really want to come because she felt like it was a lot of drama she didn't want to be a part of it which is okay that's understandable and then um, Kenya and Candy and Cynthia and um, Shamia, they were all there early. Drew and Portia were late, so they were last. So, of course, the people who were there early get the best like numbers for the gift exchange. So, they started exchanging gifts. Everyone seems like, you know, they had a nice gift. And so, like, everyone had a nice, nice gift. But Drew brought a wig and she brought a boom box in order to expose Latoya. And everyone seemed to be really upset with Drew because they felt like what she was doing was just, she was just being messy. But here is where I'm going to chime in. I feel like a lot of these, like, I feel like it was absolute BS what they were trying to do to Drew. The reason why I say this is because all season long you had Latoya, she was talking about Drew's hair. She, at um, during the cabin, she even brought a wig for Drew trying to be funny. And these ladies were the first one, Kenya and Latoya, they were practically clowning drew bullying her and then when drew wants to stand up for herself oh drew's being messy oh drew is doing too much like i really don't understand that and another and can't you had candy who was about to literally go off on drew because of the same thing that drew is doing to latoya is what latoya has been doing to drew from the beginning and i i did not like that at all and everyone wants to be upset with drew and get mad at drew okay i get it it is a gift given okay uh, amount of one thousand dollars and drew yes like her the gift that she brought was a little shady i guess but that wasn't for the girls that she liked which is um cynthia portia shamia and um candy it was for the girls that has been talking about her from the beginning which is um kenya and kenya and um latoya you know so i know a lot of people they're just they just do not like drew but i actually like drew the reason why i say i like drew is one she is she's a firecracker you know she's going to give it to you how you give it to her she came in really nice yes she was a little bit judgmental especially with the whole marriage comp comment that she made to latoya but you have the ladies that they have been talking about her her outfit how she dressed her clothes from the beginning so of course she's going to when it comes to these ladies she's going to defend herself so i really like drew and Another thing I just did not like is Candy was really trying to go in on Drew while you had, the, okay, so look, the whole pastor or prophet situation, prophet walk, you had, um, yes, Drew was trying to shame Latoya for, you know, dating a prophet or whatever, but that is, but Latoya is single, so I guess it really doesn't matter what Latoya does decide to do, but or judge her or whatever. 
But Candy needs to understand or realize that the same thing that Drew is doing to Latoya. So Candy needs to understand the same thing that Drew is doing to Latoya was was is what Latoya has been, or sorry, what Kenya has been doing to Portia throughout the trip when it comes to the whole Bolo situation. Like, what is Kenya's business with? Bolo and portion the what the other girls did and and then she's upset with Drew Okay, she's upset with Drew when it comes to the profit lock while she has been doing that to Portia this whole time now I Understand yes, like when it comes to Kim these ladies are going to give her a hard time, but let's not be very um, blindsided by what is going on and I really do think they need a cash shakeup. I'm really tired of all this whole click situation. And I, it's just, I don't like in reality shows where you have, um, you have, you want to hold somebody accountable, but you want to hold someone accountable, but you don't want to hold, like you're not holding people who should be held accountable accountable so i feel like candy really does this a lot when it comes to kenya kenya can get away with a lot of things when it comes to candy when it comes to can kenya gets away way with a lot of things but candy holds people like drew or she wants to get upset and stuff with you know like other castmates but but she doesn't get upset with Kenya while Kenya is doing the same thing that Drew is doing. So I really don't get the point of this. This is why I just feel like, like Alana really, really needs a cash shakeup. And I do really think that Candy, Cynthia, and Candy and Cynthia really need to be friends of the show because they're playing it absolutely too safe. Like nobody is safe. Like they're playing it ab ab absolutely too safe. And this is where my analysis gets with Kenya. Kenya does play a really good antagonist. But my, I wouldn't say yes. I would say my concern for her, my dislike, yes, dislike for her is because she does play a really good antagonist. She does play a really good antagonist. But she wants other people, like what she does to other people, she doesn't like when it's being done to her. Her. that's where my issue comes in when it comes to this show i think that i probably kenya is a really nice person or a good person outside of the show but sometimes we get it the show makes you act a way maybe you act, get out of character or maybe how you would not act and i have and i feel that kenya she is um, I feel like, you know, her storyline has ran its course because at this moment, I'm really just not understanding it. Mark says one, it's, it's just, it really just does not make sense. I think that she buds into other ladies' business to, um, so she doesn't, so her storyline, her real storyline doesn't have to be exposed. That's why she likes to, you know, bring up the whole bolo situation, all this. And I really think that's where production needs to come in. A lot of these ladies are playing it way too safe. Like, I do, I really think that Candy and um, Cynthia and maybe Kenya, they all just need to be friends of the show and they need to bring in more, like, a new vibe where it comes to new ladies and, and assimilate them into, um, onto the show. So, I do think that production, they need to do a cash shake up because a lot of these ladies are playing it way too safe and when it comes to this whole drew situation i really like i like Drew. i like that drew stay true drew she held her like she did not let anybody come bully her you know and that is what i really really liked about her some people may feel different otherwise but i like drew you know i do like her i like how, what she i like that Okay, she was a little bit messy with the whole profit situation, but this is what these girls have been doing to her. They've been making fun of her. You guys want her to be a punching bag? Absolutely not. And that's what, you know, I like that about Drew. Um, I like that she just did not let, allow these ladies, Kenya and Latoya, make her a punching bag. Okay, so I really actually like Marlo. I feel that Marlo, she's like, when she gave Cynthia that $1,000, I'm like, Marlo, she's just a cool person. And I would love to see her be an actual housewife. Housewife. I don't know why she's not a housewife yet, but I think she should. 
um, I think that, I think they should just keep Portia. Um, I think that, um, I think they should keep Portia, but I think they should make Kenya and Cynthia and Candy a friend to the show because I'm tired of this whole Kenya Portia situation. Either they're going to be friends or not going to be friends. I'm just tired of it. And I'm tired of Candy's really playing it way too safe. Cynthia, we, you know, she's, you know, she's cool. We always need a Cynthia on the show. But Candy is absolutely playing too safe. I would really love for them to bring new people or just, I don't know what it, I don't know what could be going on. Maybe they need to add more family aspects to it. That's why I really like Married to Medicine. They need to probably go with that format because this show is becoming way too clicky, way too divided, and it's not as fun as it used to be. Um, with Married to Medicine, it's not that clicky, but you always have somebody like a Toya or something that just like, hey, like, I mean, it's not really clicky, but they have a family aspect you know, on the show, which I really, really like. And they all tend to get along. Maybe it's because they're prof all professional women. Not saying that we do have Real Housewives of Atlanta stars who are professional, but maybe it's because, I don't know. I, I'm i not sure what it is with Married to Medicine that although they're, they, they know when to get along. They know when to be cat. They're not, yeah, they know when to be cat, but they still enjoy each other's company and have a really really good time maybe it's just maturity i feel like it's just maturity and you have a lot of people on the show who are actors who act who who know how to turn off for the camera and quite frankly it is getting exhausting it really is and i don't know maybe i'm analyzing it a different way or i am i'm analyzing it Maybe other people can see in a different perspective. But let me know what you guys think. Did you guys like the season finale? How are you feeling, Drew? Some people may just be like, she's messy. They don't like her. I like Drew. I think that she gave, gave the ladies or the people who are making fun of her what was being given to her. So I don't understand why everyone is upset with Drew. Quite frankly, I feel like Candy is playing it a little too safe and it's time for them to shake things up when it comes to Candy. I didn't like how she was trying to talk to Drew while Kenya, the same thing Drew is doing to Latoya, Kenya is doing to Portia, the same thing um, of Drew is doing to Kenya, Latoya was doing to her. So I don't understand what's the why, why she's so upset with Drew or trying to go off on Drew about that. But let me know what you guys think. And if you guys had to choose who who should be brought back next season as a full housewives, as, as a peach holder and as a friend of the show? Well, who do you guys think that should be a friend of the show and who should be a peach holder? So thank you guys so much. Please be sure to make sure you like this video. Also subscribe, click the notification button. Please, please continue to like and support our channel. Thank you guys so much. Peace, love, and blessings.